Molecular Bioresonance is a form of therapy which is based on the claim that each organism has its own resonance frequency, the presence of which indicates the existence of the disease. Pioneers, pioneers in the development of this theory are Raymond Reif, Halda Clark and others. According to their studies, subjecting the body to the above frequency from an external generator can cure the disease. This device for treating diseases with the help of different frequencies is also called Rife Machine, according to its inventor. A set of several frequencies is given for each disease, as well as the duration of the therapy. Such devices were, was origi uh, were originally produced at the beginning of the last century, but are still sold today at incredibly high prices of thousands of dollars. The purpose of this project was to explain how to make such a device yourself with professional futures whose complete cost does not exceed $25. This is how I want to capture the real value of such devices that are sold today on the internet. The device is very simple to build and contains only a few components. Arduino Mega microcontroller in my case, DF Robot Arduino Mega. Next, ST7920 chip based LCD with 128 on 64 dots resolution. Uh, BC337 NPN transistor, two resistors, trimming potentiometer 10 kilo ohms, uh, three buttons and stainless hand electrodes which are connected to these clips and of course battery. At the end of the text there is a link where you can download the code and the schematic diagram. We will not discuss how to upload the code here because you can easily find many useful tutorials on this topic. And now let's see how the device works in reality. The start menu appears when turned on. By pressing the down button, uh, we enter the sub-menu in which we select the disease for which we want to apply the therapy. Specifically, the code includes frequencies for therapies for 31 diseases, but given that Arduino works with about 10% of the resources, we can very easily enter frequencies for many other diseases. Uh, the set of frequency for the each disease can be downloaded for free online if you request a RIF frequency list. Now that we have selected the therapy for a certain disease, we press the start button and the duration of the whole therapy and the elapsed time from its beginning appears on the screen. The voltage from the generator can be applied to the patient, patient in both hands by means of two electrodes connected to these clips. Uh, the electrodes should be stainless and may be in the form of cylinders of plates. Uh, during the therapy it would be good to immerse them in salt solution for better conductivity. This marks the end of therapy. I am not a medical person and I cannot discuss the effect of the device now, but as the output voltage does not exceed uh, the 12 volts, the use of the device is completely safe for, for health. And of course, we need to treat bioresonance as supporting conventional therapy. Now let's look at the shape and frequency of output signal on the oscilloscope. As we will see, for each disease, the signal has a different frequencies which, are, which change every minute of therapy. For example, let's look at some of the frequencies of infection therapy. Minute 1, 
3 kHz rectangular signal. Second minute 95.3 Hz. Minute 3 820 Hz. Minute 4 1.55 kHz rectangular signal. And now let's briefly see how the device is made. 